It is done. The absolute eradicated. Vengeance exacted. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. It's over. It's truly over. And we are cleansed. The tadpoles are still at last. They cannot control us or turn us into abominations. Although in your case, the transformation may be an improvement, Iblis. Even when my time in the prison stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But first, Lazel. I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. It will be done. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakit's chains. Enough talk. Give me my freedom. Freedom from this form. Yes. But for how long? My mind screams. It will never stop until it has slipped away from me entirely. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. The rest is up to them. Someone else must rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Give me my freedom from this form. Release my soul to the Astral Seas, while I still have one to call my own. Liberator!
the Githyanki are leaving us. An unlikely place to find ourselves, fighting on the same side as them. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. With the crown in my hands, I would be unstoppable. The casts I weave would be mine to command. I would be more than the greatest wizard who ever lived. I would be a god. Want, need, deserve. Choose whatever word you prefer, but it is what I'm going to do. Mistra has dictated the terms of my potential for long enough. The crown would grant me control of my own destiny at last. Think of all I could achieve, all that I could grant to those whose ambitions are restrained by Mistra's yoke. I could raise a new netherrealm, right here in Faerun. It's I who should be saying such things. Do not think I leave you without a heart as heavy as your own. But I owe it to myself to follow where destiny leads. I'll never forget you. That I promise. And if you ever felt differently, there will be a place waiting for you in the heavens. Farewell, Gale. I hope he still remembers us little people, once he's secured godhood. Though he may have to contend with Mistra before that's a foregone conclusion. As for us, well... The future awaits. What shall we do with our liberty? Why bother? Let Baldur's Gate wear its scars proudly. Until the next crisis wipes it from the world entirely. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Engine's finally cooked. <laughs> Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? So are you. My friend. My companion. I adore you. Carlac, you're coming with me. Back to Avernus, 
We can't let her die. Not like this. Not now. You can't. So, what do you say? Die here now, or live on with the blade of Avernus at your side. Zariel won't touch you. I swear it, Karlak. Fine. I'll go. Well, with you. But we have to go. Now. I can't hang on much longer. It's over, and it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. He slept like a babe straight through the night, dreamless, thoughtless, and almost entirely free. For the first time, you feel alone, calm. You breathe. Baal may have been your beginning, but he will not be your end. Of all those you killed in your father's name, one lingers in your mind even now. Alfira, the bard of the Emerald Grove. Her death weighs upon you still. A burden you will carry for the rest of your days. But fortunately, you will not have to carry it alone. It feels so good. Freedom. True. Freedom. Finally. I can feel my strength growing. Every day that passes, I gain new abilities. You know, now that our enemies have fallen, I might be the most powerful person in the world. And as you're my consort, that makes us the most powerful people in the world. Neither would I. Together, we can do anything. The world is ours for the taking. So, what would you like? Darling, I love the way you think. We will need to be careful, of course. There are still powerful forces in the city. We can start slowly, quietly charming and manipulating key figures, building up our network of puppets. Before long, we'll have our hands on every string in the city, and they will dance however we tell them to. We have a beautiful, bloody future to look forward to, my love. I can't be sure what it holds for us, but I know one thing. This is going to be fun! <laughs> Oh. 
Well, soldier. Here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zara's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods. Like clockwork. They'll be on us soon. But there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. It was you. Imps are fast, but careless. Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them. And don't forget them. <sighs> you asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. Six months from the fall of the Netherbrain, you and Astarian were hosting a grand masquerade in the refurbished ballroom of Casador's palace. A young elf wearing an ivory mask in the guise of a skinless skull handed you a note as he passed you in the crowd. An invitation written in a frail hand, inviting you to a gathering of the friends and allies who stood with you against the Absolute. Astarian pouted when you read the invitation to him. He'd gladly accompany you, but he would have been happy to host the party himself. As it is, you'll gather in a familiar place, and one altogether more suitable for your reunion. <laughs> 